Hello everybody, Spotted Gecko here again, bringing you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. And today, I have another community content video for you. This is a full mat submission from Addison Gonzalez Orr, aka Hippers Dontal. In this match was a complete and total domination with the Prince Yugen, getting seven sinkings. Let's sit back, let's watch, I'll provide the commentary, and we can see how Addison here gets to seven. All right, here we go. Okay, now first off, we're on the Land of Fire, and do note that I have not pre-watched the match. I simply do the commentary as I watch the match. All I know is that Addison here has sank seven ships, so we have here a total domination match by the Prince Yugen here. So this should be a lot of fun to watch. Now, like I mentioned, we're on the uh, Land of Fire. Uh, looks like Addison here, uh, or we could say Hippers, Hippers Dontal. I'll just say Addison for the rest of the match, has spawned in the southern middle section here. Now, the uh, Chappie, I wonder if the Chappie's going to be Addison's first victim here. Let's find out. Going to take the shot momentarily. That's a nice, that looks really good. That's a pretty good looking lead time Addison gave. Yeah, wow, we're watching the shells go in. So he has, uh, Addison has that as the, um, the uh, control settings. Really nice. Already getting a Citadel there. So 10,000 M. While with seven sinkings, I'm going to guess, I'm going to predict over 150,000 in total damage. That's my prediction. Let's see if Addison gets that amount. More than likely, probably. Now, another shot on the Chappie just as Addison gets in behind the island here. Those actually look pretty good. You're going to catch the uh, bow there. Yeah, you got a, a penetration. Pretty much a little bit of everything there. Gonna still focus fire on that uh, chappy, I imagine. There's Torps going in. Another firing away. Now, Addison is using AP on the broadside here, which is excellent. Those actually look really good. I'm guessing another Citadel. Oh no, those are complete miss. I guess the uh, arcing away of the chappy uh, affected the... Uh, the fire there. So let's see if uh, Addison corrected for that. Got a uh, got a shatter that time. You know what? The hip. Uh, at least the um, the Prince Yugen has a pretty half decent reload for a tier seven cruiser. Oh, there we go. Two citadels right there in the first blood medallion. Nicely done, Addison. All right. So what is Addison going after this time? The Odin. Using the AP on the Odin there. Okay. Got a nice 10 second reload on this uh, Prince Yugen. Oh, there's the model sitting in there too, eh? Oh, a good old Chuck Martin. Or the Charles Martel. Okay. Charles Martel looks like they uh, fired some HE onto, the, onto Addison's uh, Prince Yugen here. Take another shot in the Odin. Nice. Oh, it looks like the uh, Charles Martel missed badly on the uh, Prince there. Uh, that was just a bunch of ricochets mainly on that one, eh? That looks like a better incoming. Or outgoing, I guess you could say. Oh, yes, much better that time. But no penetrations, though. Making heavy use of the AP here. I see Addison's using. Another more incoming shells on the uh, Prince Yugen here. Kiting nicely to dodge those. Very nice. Still got 34,000 left in the uh, hull points with uh, a couple of heals. Oh, that's a really nice shell grouping on the rear batteries there. Yeah, that's much better. Got a penetration on that one. 37,000 already. About 120,000 to go to get to my prediction in damage. And uh, already one of the seven sinkings. Like I mentioned, this match has seven sinkings. So the the Yugen here is do is going to dominate. So probably, you know, obviously the Kraken Metal will be coming into this. I'm wondering if um, you're going to be the uh, if you're going to get sink four in the end and get one of those uh, medallions as well or medals as well. 
Okay, you switched over to HE here on the Odin. Here you go. Fire started already with uh, two shatters, but you got the fire going. That's probably a better choice against the uh, the Odin. Just go with the uh, HE rounds with the uh, Yugen on here. Every 10 seconds, you just keep throwing those things away as you kite. Nicely done. Ah, uh, there we go. Now the penetrations are racking up. Yeah, the Odin has a real, real hard time right now dealing with the uh, Prince. Because he's also taking fire from someone else as well. Ah, uh, now an easier target now. You got the broadside. And there's the Charles Martel popping in. I would probably say the, uh, out of the two ships there, more than likely the, um, the Odin would be the uh, greater threat. It's very difficult to sit it out on Odin, for one. It's that, uh, good old German, uh, oh, there's a really good strike with the, uh, AP on the broad side of the Odin there. Now, this one could very well sink it. And, nope, nope, didn't get any penetrations on that one. But, uh... I, I always say the Prince uh, Yugen's uh, AP is strong on the broadside of battleships. Okay, back to angling, but let's see if you're going to get... you worked on this one, Odin, for quite some time. Are you going to get the sinking? I would hope so. And then you can focus on that Charles Martel. Oh, hit the uh, border, map border right there. And, oh, you got the sinking. That's number two. Yeah, Nicely done. You really worked well and hard on taking out that Odin. You deserve the uh, the sinking on that one. That gets you to two ships now. You got five more to sink. <laughs> okay, jeez. I can't see the uh, Charles Martel lasting uh, too long against the Prince here. Now, the one thing that's for sure about uh, the Prince being hung up on the border like this is that it's very difficult for the other ships to uh, to target you. The border tends to do that. You're just getting your only your forward batteries onto that uh, Charles Martel by the looks of it. Oh, you got the Citadel. Nicely done. Same spot would do it. All right, here they go. Let's see if you get the Citadel again in the sinking here. No, but you get the penetration. Very nice. Chuck Martin here is going to be uh, going to the bottom of the ocean pretty soon. And that is the Citadel right there. 94,000, your third sinking. Four more sinkings to go. Of the five remaining ships, you are going to sink four of them. And now you're dealing with the Yamato. So, I, and let's see what we're going to do here. Using the AP on the broad side of the model. Let's see how it does here. Okay, you got four penetrations with the AP there. That's pretty good. And at least the model's not focusing its shells on you at all. Uh, not much with that one. You just basically shattered your shells and missed with the AP. It's focusing on the Wichita. Or is it? Or well, it's going after someone else. All right, so let's have a look this time. Once again, uh, ricochets. Yeah, got two penetrations that time. Very nice. Pretty much the model's just sitting there stationary. He's just taking all the... Uh, Yogan shells. Okay, two more penetrations. And uh, five penetrations that time. Now that's what we want to see. Nicely done. You're in a good spot. You lost a few of your batteries to the island there. Those ones look pretty good going in. A few more penetrations. You're really working this Yamato, but it looks like the uh, a lot of ships are working this Yamato right now. That's a good one. Very nice. Four penetrations. Mid -se between the midsection and the uh, rear turret. Nice spot to strike. Completely uh, missed you, but I think he was still going for the Wichita. 
It looks like you're potentially going to get the Yamato here. There's the Wichita shells going in. And you get it. Nicely done. That was uh, <laughs> nicely done. Okay, so you got the Yamato for number four. Three more ships to sink. So out of the four remaining ships, you are going to get uh, three of those ships, Addison. A uh, really nice match here. Tashkent in there. So we got a Massachusetts over there. A fully health Massachusetts. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Another shot in there. I think the uh, the island probably blocked those. You're sitting at 139,000. Yeah, you're going to easily make my prediction. I should now... Uh, we look at my prediction and say, are, see if you can make 175,000 with the uh, three, uh, four remaining ships. Let's find out. Another Iowa. There's an Iowa. Okay. Now, is that Iowa going to go nicely broadside for you? Yes, it is. It took the shot on you. It missed. It's leaving you a really nice opening there. Two penetrations on the... Uh, on the Iowa. Iowa's uh, using that uh, US uh, skin wrap on it. The mass is taking some good torpits there. Actually, you're in quite a tough situation at the moment. Get rid of that Iowa. That's the, that would be my focus. Got the torps in the water, which is awesome. This could kill the Iowa in this shot. There it is. Kraken unleashed right there. There's the Kraken. Almost. Come on. One more. One more. Give it the Kraken. <laughs> okay. There it is. There's the Kraken. Our Kraken unleashed for number five. Now the mass, you know, it's giving you a broadside with little, uh, with little hull left. You gotta like that. Put some, uh, torps in the water just to make sure. Uh, your gun should be able to kill it here. Yeah, they, yeah, there it is. You got... Oh, that was a lucky sinking for you there. 153,000. Okay. And another Massachusetts over there with two ships left. You've got your six sinking now. There comes some more tarps. Yeah, you got to use your narrow beam to your advantage here. Now you got about a third of your hull points left, so this is a very dangerous situation. Hit on target. Let's see how he hits you here. He got you pretty good there. You got one of your turrets. Knocked you down to under 10,000 in hull points. He's going to go broadside, which means your torps are in the water. At least that's what I would do. There they go. I narrow and I go right back out, aiming right towards him. Yeah, your torps are the ones that sink him. He can't get out of the way. He can't dodge those. So you got your seventh right here. Oh, yes, got him right there. Five torpedo hits, number seven with the devastating strike. 196,000 in damage right there. Oh, yeah, blew past my uh, 175 prediction. Nicely done. Is there enough left in this match? For you to grab the 200,000, you got 6,000 in the hall left, 30 seconds to put out that fire. Yeah, let's see it. Uh, it's, an, it's an Alaska that's left, eh? Your fire is out, which is nice. And looks like that match is going to be over. It's going to run out of time. Oh my gosh, unfortunately, the opposing team, though, oh my gosh, the opposing team is going to win this on points. All that effort, seven sinkings, and you're going to end up losing the match here. That is really, really unfortunate. So all the opposing Alaska has to do is basically stay alive and they win the match.
And there it is. Either way, that was still a complete and total domination of the Prince Eugen in this match. Seven sinkings. That was awesome, Addison Gonzalez. Thank you for submitting this. 596,000. Oh, you got over a base 3,000. You got, yep, you got a great XP there at the seven sinkings. And uh, almost 600,000 in credits. Really great match. Thank you for submitting us. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this, uh, please give me a like. It really does help the algorithm. And, of course, be wonderful if you would subscribe for future videos on my channel. This is Spotty Gecko Gamer. I'll see you on the seas next time. <laughs>